वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दास पॉइंट डियर स्टूडेंट एज वी हैव सी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द साइड्स एंड एरिया ऑफ सिंगुलर ट्राइकल और वी लर्न द थ्योरम दैट द रेशियो ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ टू सिंगुलर ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ द रेशियो ऑफ देयर करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स Now we see the exercise based on this theorem. We can how we use the theorem to solve the problem related to the similar. So let's dear student today we see NCERT exercise 6.4 that is area of similar triangle fully solved and these questions are very important. That's why I am solving. So practice this. Let's see how to solve this. So diagonals of a trapezium ABCD with AB parallel BC intersect each other at the point O. So here we are given the trapezium. This trapezium A B C D is given. In this trapezium diagonal that is the line joining the opposite vertex within AC and BD. Both are intersecting at the point O. Right? This is. Then Mar says, if AB equal to twice of CD, we are given that the length AB is twice of BC. Then find the ratio of the area of triangle AOB, AOB, and COB. We have to find the ratio of these triangles. So how we find that we see? So we have written here already. We draw the figure as requirement. We draw the figure first. A B C D is a trapezium in which A C and B D are diagonal, which are intersecting at the point O. Right? Then we mark the point or angle. This is suppose angle one and this is angle two. This is angle three and four. Then angle five. And six. We are considering these two triangles. Why? Because question says you have to find the ratio of the triangle AOB and triangle COB. So according to that, we have to consider the triangle. So now see, we consider we are given trapezium ABCD in which BC parallel to AB and diagonal AC and BD intersect each other at point O. Also, we are given from the adjoining figure in triangle AOB. Now, you consider these triangles. We are considering the triangle AOB, which is triangle, and COD, which is triangle. In these two triangles, we see the angle one equal to two. Angle one equal to two. Why is this? Because it given that. AB parallel to BC and AC is a transverse. So you know that these are the alternate interior angles, right? This line CD and AB because it is given AB parallel to BC. So if AB parallel to BC, then we know that alternate interior angles are. Equal. So angle one equal to two. Similarly, angle three equal to four. This is same property. Here AC converted to BD. BD is a transverse. So this side, these are the parallel line, and this BC will be work as a transverse. So we know that angle three and four. These are the opposites side of the line transverse. So they are equal. That is, alternate interior angles are equal. So this is also an angle five equal to six. That are vertical opposite angle. As you can see, when two lines are intersecting, angle form opposite are equal. That you have already seen here. So dear students, see all three corresponding angles are equal. That's why by 
ट्रिपल ए ट्राइंगल ए ओ बी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल सी ओ बी बाय ट्रिपल ए सिमिलर टू नाउ वी सी यस्टरडे थ्योरम इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक इफ टू ट्राइंगल आर सिमिलर देन सो बाय थ्योरम 6.6 Area of triangle AOB upon area of triangle COD is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding side. So you take only one side because we need the find the ratio of the area of triangle. So you want to find only the ratio. So you can take any side as our requirement. We are taking AB and CD. Because we are given the relation in the <coughs> so in AB and CD, so the side we have to take only in which the given relation. So we take area of triangle AOB upon area of triangle COD equal to AB upon CD whole square. Now what we given AB can be replaced by this. So area of triangle AOB. Upon area of triangle COD is equal to AB can be written as CD. So you can write here by given AB equal to twice of CD. This is given. So that you have to put here value of AB. So CD and CD will divide one. So this will be four upon one whole square. So two upon one whole square or four by one. So what we get? We get the ratio of area of triangle AOB and COD. That is four ratio one. So finally you will require ratio ratio of required triangle AOB and triangle. Triangle or area. We write down the area of triangle AOB and area of triangle COD is equal to four ratio one. So in this way, we can find the ratio four ratio one. So write down here. This problem states that we are given a figure. In the figure, two triangles ABC and triangle DBC are on the same base BC. So this triangle ABC and triangle DBC both are on the same base. Uh, AO upon DO, right? This is AO upon DO. We have to prove AO upon DO, correct? So now what we have given? Triangle ABC and triangle DBC on the same base BC. If AD, this AD intersect BC at O, this AD intersect BC at O. Then problem says you have to show that area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle DBC is equal to AO upon DO. This we want to prove. So here we write the given triangle in solution. Here we are given triangle ABC. And triangle DBC on the same base BC also right AD intersect BC at O and we want to find we want to find also. If we write here, so we want to show 
that area of triangle ABC and area of triangle DBC that should be AO upon B. So dear student, you know that to find the area we need the height. So we draw the height from the this point A to BC and this D to BC. So AL and DL. Because we want to find the area of triangle ABC, it means there should be a height in the ABC. Also, we want to find the area of triangle DBC. So here also we should the need a height. That's why we draw. We draw AL perpendicular on BC. And DM is perpendicular on BC. Correct? So now if you consider these two small triangles, so see here consider triangle A <coughs> and triangle DMO. In the triangle A and triangle B and O. So we have drawn the perpendicular. <coughs> so angle L equal to M 90 degree and these angles are vertical opposite angles. So in these two small triangles we learn that they are two angles are equal that's why they are similar. So here you may write in triangle A and O and triangle B and O angle L equal to M of N equal to 90 degree and angle A O L is equal to angle D O L. These are vertical opposite angle. This angle. These two angles are equal. So by A A similarity, by A A similarity. So triangle A L M O is similar to triangle D M O. Correct? Now these two triangles are similar, then their sides are proportional. It means A L upon D M. AL upon DM should be equal to this is AL O not M. So AL upon DM equal to AO equal to DM. We take according to our requirements. So dear student, we are taking the ratio of AL upon DF that equal to AO upon DO. Why we take AO upon DO? Because we want to this. Clear? And we prove this. This equal to this. That's why we take the ratio of the eyes to the what we prove. So we may write here the AL upon DF equal to AO upon D, DU. This is the property of similar triangle. So we can say AL upon DM equal to AO upon D. Now we want to find the ratio of the area. So we find formula. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle DBC. Now you know that Formula for area of a triangle 1 by 2 base into height. So in triangle ABC, if you consider BC as a base, then height will be perpendicular to it. So area of triangle ABC can be written as 1 by 2 into height into base. So you may write here 
वन बाय टू आई बी ए एंड बेस ए बी सी सिमिलरली डियर स्टूडेंट इन द ट्राइंगल डी बी सी इन ट्राइंगल डी बी सी इफ यू सी बेस इन द बी सी एंड आई ए डी एम सो यू कैन से वन बाय टू आई डी एम एंड बेस ए बी सी so here 1 by 2 divide 1 by 2 bc divide bc so what left only al upon dl so this is our equation 1 and this is 2 so now if you compare 1 and 2 what say area of triangle abc upon area of triangle dbc is equal to al upon dl but al upon dl is equal to ao upon d So what we get here is that A L upon D L, which is equal to A O upon D. So by one and two we can replace A L by D L and A O by D. Why we replace? Because we need this thing. So as by one and two we get the result. So by one and two we get what area of triangle A B C upon area of triangle. Is equal to A O upon D L. So as proved. So dear student, in this way one can easily prove the requirement of the question or problem. But important thing you have to draw the accurate figure, and according to that figure you can only see. So using the result what is given and what we can draw from the figure. So by that we have proved the result. Next is if the areas of two similar triangle are equal, prove that they are. R equal. Then say you have to prove that they are congruent. They are. Right? This we want to prove. So see here, dear student. Here we can say in solution. Here we are given two triangle ABC and triangle BEF. Suppose we are given two triangle ABC and BEF. This is A, B, C, and BEF. We are given triangle such so that. Triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. This is D one. So by theorem, which theorem? Six point six. If two triangles are similar, then the ratio of the area of triangle is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding side. You may write the statement of the theorem. So area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle DBC should be equal to AB upon DB or BC upon this is side DE and BC upon EF is equal to AC upon DF. This result is there. Okay. Now this area is equal. What we are given? If the area of two triangles are equal, means these two are equal. And given area of triangle ABC equal to area of triangle BEF. So by one and two, by one and two, we get. So this area equal. We are suppose this is a fifty and this is fifty. 
or this is 100 square unit this is 100 so 100 upon 100 that is 1 so 1 equal to AB upon DE BC upon EF or AC upon DF right AC upon DF and BC upon EF so now all parts are equal, equal to 1. So therefore, what you can write? AB upon DE whole square equal to 1. DC upon EF whole square equal to 1. And AC upon DF whole square equal to 1. So a square will be transferred to the side that will convert into root. So we get root of 1 that is 1. So AB upon DE equal to 1. BC upon EF equal to 1 and AC upon DF is also 1. Now cross multiply. So what we get? AB equal to DE, BC equal to EF and AC upon DF. So by triple S, congruent condition. Congruent condition what say these two triangles are congruent because their corresponding sides are equal. So if corresponding all three sides are equal, that triangle are same congruent. So triangle ABC congruent to triangle DEF. So very easy only we have to use the result that similar triangles ratio equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding side area equal this put 1 so each part equal to 1 that then the square root on side each side's ratio is equal to 1 so cross multiply each side's or corresponding sides are equal so in this way dear student one can throw this now next theorem C question number 5 that say if D, E and F are D, E, F are the midpoints are Respectively, midpoints of sides AB, BC, and CA of triangle, CA of triangle ABC. These are midpoints are given. Find the ratio of the area Find the ratio of area of triangle DEF and ABC Triangle DEF and triangle ABC This is very important question Triangle ABC and 
राइट आर बी एफ बी आर की वन एंड वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आ टू ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंड ट्राइंगल बी एफ आर बी वन वी वन टू फाइंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बी एफ अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो दिस रेशियो वी वॉन्ट टू Find what will be the this ratio. So if it is given that these are the midpoint, so D E parallel to F C. Here now see we use the theorem what we have seen that the ninth class that the uh, this D E the midpoint of A B, E is the midpoint of B C. So line drawn from the two midpoint of two side of triangle is parallel to Third. So here, the E parallel to AC by midpoint theorem. So the E also parallel to FC because FC is a part of AC. So if the E parallel to AC, then we can say the E also also parallel to FC. So we can see here uh, this is equation number one. Similarly, you may see that in triangle ABC DE and so DF is also parallel to. Similarly, this DF. A parallel to BC, BF parallel to BC. This is also by midpoint theorem sum result. So DF is parallel to BE, right? So these two are. Parallel from one and two. So from one and two, we get opposite sides are this DF a parallel, DF parallel to BE, and this DE parallel to FC. So by one DE parallel to FC and DF. Parallel to BC, so by one and two we can say DE FC is a parallelogram. DF parallel to EC. This is not DEC. You can get that is also part. So dear student, you can say this is a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, what is the property? If the opposing sides are parallel, we prove that this parallel to this side. This side. So this is a parallelogram. So by one and two we get D E C F is a parallelogram. And in parallelogram we know that diagonal bisect equal in area or two in equal area. Similarly we can say other R also. Similarly we can say this A D F because this parallel to this. And this parallel to this, so this triangle. So you may write here similarly. We get A D E F is a parallel graph. So this is also a parallel graph, right? So we get two parallel graph, and you may also prove this is also a parallel graph B E F C by using the midpoint theorems. So we what can say if these are the parallelogram, then the opposite angles are equal. So now consider now in triangle ABC and triangle DEF. So corresponding angle we have to prove it. 
alpha a b c in these two triangle we can say d e f equal to a d e f equal to angle a y because we are doing this is a parallelogram so these are opposite angles so angle d e f equal to angle a and similarly we can say that angle e d f e d f is equal to angle c so this we prove that this is a parallelogram so this angle equal to this because this is a opposite angle of a parallelogram are equal so by a a similarity so by a a similarly triangle b e f is similar to triangle abc now these two triangle are similar then we know that the ratio of the area so by theorem 6.6 we get what area of triangle b e f equal to area of triangle abc is equal to the ratio of the Square of the ratio of their corresponding side. So you can take BE upon AB. Now, dear student, you can see that by theorem that DE is the half of the side. DE is the half of AC by two point theorem. This DE is parallel and half of the opposite side. So in ninth class you use this theorem. A line drawn from the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel and half of the third side. So DE can be written as one by two AC, or you can say one by two AB. Similarly, EF can be written as this. So you can write DE upon or DF you can write opposite side. So it will be. You may take a AC, so it will be this. So one by two of AC, one by two of AC square. So AC square, AC square cancel. One by two square by one, that is one by four. So ratio will be one upon four. That is the required ratio. So required. Ratio is one to four. That is, area of triangle D E F is one by four of the area of triangle A B C. Or you can say area of triangle A B C is four times the area of triangle D E F. So, dear student, in this way one can prove the required. Ratios. So, dear students, this is all about the today's class. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. To be continue with us for more videos.